AWS Service 18 of 128 VPC. A virtual private cloud is your isolated network layer in AWS. Many AWS services such as Lambda, RDS, ECS exist inside a VPC. Even if you didn't create one, AWS made a default VPC for you. When you run services in the cloud, you need control. Who can talk to what, which subnets are public or private, and how traffic leaves your environment. A VPC gives you an isolated network. You can then define IP ranges, subnets, root tables, internet gateways, and security groups. Together, they let you host public-facing apps and private backends with strict rules. Inside your VPC, you create subnets. Public subnets host resources that need internet access, like web servers. Private subnets keep databases and internal services hidden. To connect public subnets to the internet, you attach an internet gateway. Route tables, then control traffic flow. Public subnets route to the internet gateway. Private subnets typically don't route to the internet gateway. Instead, they stay isolated. Now here's what most people miss. A VPC lives inside a single AWS region. It can have multiple availability zones, but never across region. That means when you create a VPC in US East 1, all your subnets exist in availability zones inside that region. Your internet gateway sits at the edge of that VPC, controlling what traffic goes out or comes in. NAT gateway handles the other side, that is private subnets that need outbound access without being exposed publicly.